Okay, first event of my Saturday. The Society Lounge, the School of Education is hosting like a day mixer, so. Happy here homecoming! <laughs> hey! <laughs> the aftermath um georgia avenue is that way you have vendors on the corner we're headed toward the football field where we did not go to the game but you know on campus after there's jamila our gsac president there's taylor our psych student <laughs> Are you like a content creator? I know Absolutely. you. I know you. Are, I'm looking yeah, at you. Like, it's my family, you know. Hey, hey. Guys, here is the stadium. Boom. It is after the football game, of course. Um, I don't know if we won or not, but even if we didn't, go Bison. All right, just had to show you guys this Douglas Hall. I have most of my classes here. You know, this is home away from home. Oh yes, this is my favorite gate. And they have the HU on it. It's looking very homecoming-ish. Let me keep up. I just want to show y'all. Oh, Let me do a panoramic view. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the yard. Okay, we got some new signs on campus. People everywhere, but having a good time. Well, this is Georgia Ave. We're heading toward like McDonald's. And this is the aftermath of tailgating. Tailgating. This is, oh my gosh, it's trashed. But all the people you saw on the yard, they were here and then they moved to the yard. The bookstore seems very live. And apparently, <laughs> the latest. Mm hmm. Homecoming is inside at the bookstore too, I see. We love it. Got some new merch. I love that windbreaker. No, they didn't at all. Okay, Howard. They said guests are coming. We need to put out put out the best merch. Hey, Black and Scholar. My uh, sweater is actually from this brand, this black owned brand. So that's crazy that they're in the bookstore. Oh, I love it, I love it. You're gonna get it? I'm gonna get it. I have to. Yes, I have to. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> I have to get it. This is so nice. It is, it really is. So it is Sunday morning before chapel, and I'm at my favorite Jewish deli called Your Mother. Um, this line, it's always long. That's because the food is good. <laughs> so let me show you guys my favorite thing to get from Call Your Mother. It's the Sun City Bagel, I believe. I get the Cinnamon Raisin Bagel. And the meat is pastrami. I don't know all of the other fixings, but it is quite delicious. Let's see if I can get this opened with one hand. Oh, you can see the goodness. Look at that. And you know what, y'all? I'll be trying. I really do try, rather. I'll say it that way. I'll speak properly. I try to eat a non-dairy diet. But this just does not hit without the cheese. Look at this. Okay, let me eat before I go to chapel. And here is campus after homecoming day. Very calm.
University, the Reverend Dr. Frederick D. Haynes III. And won't you agree with me that Dean Richardson is such a gift uh, to all of us. Our lives are better. Our is better. Our people are better because we have a Dean Bernard Richardson. Let me tell you something. If I want somebody praying for me, I want Dean Richardson to pray for me. Please let me also uh, just say it's a beautiful thing to walk in this excellence uh, that is Howard University. I'm, I just feel good uh, being here. You can fight back against forces against you that try to hold you down and keep you back, y'all. It's time for a fade in the water. So do I have some faders in the house who can testify no back and forth against the shell prosper? Do I have some faders in the house who can testify the Lord is my light and my salvation? Whom shall I fear? So go on, H you, and clap on with your bad self. Clap until justice goes down like waters. Clap and do justice, love mercy, and walk only with God. Clap because my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. You better keep on clapping. Clap until the old folks sang, we shall overcome. Clap until you hear Kendrick Lamar. All's my life I had to fight. And if God's got us, we gonna be all right. If you clap, God will. Okay, it is after chapel. As you have seen, I've inserted some clips of, you know, of the service. Preacher was amazing. Tiffany and I, Tiffany, AKA the author of The Hues of HBCUs and The Hues of Africa. She's actually upstairs in the chapel talking to the preacher, but we are headed to campus to probably take a picture or two, chit chat a little bit, you know, do a little bit of catching up. And then I'm going home to take a nap and I should be doing homework. I probably will do a couple of assignments. I'll be responsible, a responsible doctoral student, uh, because I have a concert tonight. I'm going to the reunion tour, but I am going to enjoy right now with my fellow Howard, um, my fellow Bison, and just enjoy homecoming weekend. It is coming to a close, so I wanna make sure that I am present right now before I do homework and before I am present again at the concert, so. Let me go upstairs and meet up with Tiffany, and I'll see you guys later. There's Tiffany plugging her books, the views of HBCUs, showing the Omega. That is crazy. All right, guys, look who I'm with. Hey. Tiffany Hurd, author of Hughes of Africa and Hughes of HBCUs. And we actually, speaking of, your book is now about to be circulated in the social medias because we just ran into Boris Kojo. That is crazy. And Chris Spencer. So that is really, really cool. It was after chapel, um, randomly walking the campus. I mean, of course, their children go here, but that's the thing. That's the beauty of Howard. Um, just celebrities, A-listers, uh, influencers, what have you, randomly walk the campus. So that's a great thing. But we wanted to just do a recap of chapel because it was really, really good. What were your thoughts and your takeaways, Tiffany? Chapel was amazing today. I have always loved chapel, so I'm glad I came back. It's even super special for Howard's homecoming. Mm -hmm. And we had a Dr. Frederick spoke today, and he was amazing, y'all. If y'all didn't hear it, 
y'all missed it. Uh, the good thing, the cool thing about Howard is, I feel like they mix church, mm -hmm. real life, politics. Yes. He talks about the Israel War. He talked about Rosa Parks. Activism, all of it. Uh -huh. he, like, where can you get that at most people? Which, again, I, I'm coaching y'all. So I appreciate the word of God, but I also can appreciate the excellence that Howard y'all don't understand like I teared up when he was talking about Howard excellence he talked about a lot of people that came before us and I just feel like I am now part of that legacy yes. and so it's super super important I'm, already, I'm getting teared up every time I talk about it um because I had this conversation before and you, you guys don't understand what the Howard name means and just to be a part of it like if you are not a part of this legacy then you just don't know but right. if you know you know if you know, you know. We just wanted to say hey. And make sure you check out Tiffany's book, Hughes of HBCUs. Did you want to show them? Oh, it's in your backpack. One second. We're going to come back. Okay, y'all, this is my first time at the Capital One Arena. So I'm excited, but it is very crowded.